Hey guys, welcome to Invicta Coders. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, how you can publish an app into Play Store. And these are very easy steps. I will teach you in just few minutes. Okay, so uh, first create your AAB file, that is app bundle file. Uh, if you have created your app from rentflare.in, uh, for example, let me show you. Uh, if you have taken a subscription of food delivery app from here, then you have just uh, you have to just go to here and uh, download your app bundle and source code. Okay, from AAB file comes like this, app release.ab like this. This file has to be uploaded in the Play Store. So just type here Google Play Console. When you click it, uh, you have to create a Google Play Console first. I will tell you step by step how to upload the app into Play Store. Okay. So first you have to go to here, create app. So here our app name is Quick Byte. So write the app name here. Default language, keep it English. App name, app or game, choose it app. Free or paid, it's a free app. Developer policy, tick the policies and click here, create app. This kind of app, uh, dashboard will appear here and go to the set up your app options. Click on privacy policy and enter the privacy policy. Uh, enter the exact privacy policy that you have. So I am pasting my privacy policy page here. After that, you have to put your app access. That means, does your app require any uh, login credential to enter into the app? Yes, obviously, uh, because we need uh, some login credential like the phone number and OTP like that. So you have to provide a demo ID over here. Okay, for um, this option says all functionality is available without special access, without any restriction. So there are some restrictions in our app. That means customer needs to log in first. After that, they can use the full functionality of the app. Okay, so add instruction here. You have to write the uh, test credential. So I'm writing text test here and uh, Phone number, we kept this one for demo login and in OTP 1234. Okay, so and you have to take it here and press the save button. We have giving uh, this access because people from Google will verify using this credential. They can log in into the app and test the app. It is working properly or not. Then, now the third option here you have to uh, say does your app contains any ad or not. So there is no such ad or uh, third party content here no. Content rating, start question here and you have to uh, provide a valid email ID. I am using the same console email ID here also. And which type of app is this? So this is not a gaming app, not a social communication app. It's the other category. And uh, in the terms and condition, just tick it. Uh, next, you have to just do all the things no, because normal food delivery app or any um, e-commerce app does not require this kind of permission. So be asking is this a browser app, this is a news app or not. Uh, people uh, Once the people download the app, they can um, download any other app from the app itself, inside the app itself or not. They are asking this type of questions. So just click it, no everywhere and it's done. After that, you have to go to this section, target audience. We are targeting 16 to 16 and upwards. So we have clicked already save. Now the most important part that is the data safety. In the data safety, you have to uh, tell Google that does, does your app collects any information from user or not? Obviously, yes. We collect uh, data like phone number, address, latitude, longitude, that means the location permission and uh, email ID sometimes, sometimes age, this type of things we collect from user. So we have to uh, uh, tell here. So does your app uh, collect or share any kind of data type? Yes. So after that, uh, whether the data are encrypted in transit in our case that is not encrypted in transit we have username and password system or username and other authentication system you can check here also and uh, you have to um, paste here the account delete policy this is our account delete policy so you have to enter the account delete policy url if you have taken from rentflare also you will get this link in the policy section okay so can the user can user delete their data yes they can uh, delete their data um, you can say it no. Uh, in our case, we delete uh, automatically within 90 days. So I am choosing this. In your case, that might be different. And we collect precise location, approximate location, uh, personal information like the name, uh, phone number. That's it. We take uh, this much data from user and we'll press next. Here you have to start here. I will tell Google that uh, you collect the data and share it to someone else or you just only collect and use it so we collect only and uh, and we do not process the data and this feature cannot be uh, 
this feature is required we cannot remove it and this is our app functionality then we are saving it we have to do in every step this is also a mandatory option we cannot remove it this is the app functionality without location our app will not work so i am doing the same in every data we are taking from user so it's done data safety is completed after that you have to go to this section government app this is a government app no this is not a government app so after that you have to go to the financial feature our app does not provide any financial feature financial feature means the cryptocurrency type of thing like where you can deposit money withdraw money that kind of feature is called financial feature advertising id no we do not use we are not using advertising id uh, like meta advertiser id or the uh, uh, google ads we are not using that and uh, whether the app is related to health app no this is not a health app also so we have to declare here here you can see uh, after that we have to provide a selector category for our app so click edit here app category which category is this this is a food and drink save and uh, email id copy your email id and paste it here save so email id is pasted back to the dashboard again and the final part is store listing so you have to write a description full description So you have written a short description and full description. You can uh, write the full description in a proper way. Uh, after that, you have to uh, insert the app icon. Choose your image. And click on add. So it's added. After that, you have to upload a feature graphics. Feature graphics means a banner. The size has to be 1024 into 500. This has to be the exact size. So we are choosing one. So we have added the feature graphics. After that, screenshot has to be uploaded. Make your screenshot ready for upload. So it's uploaded. After that, you have to click on save button. So it's almost done. Now what you have to do, you have to publish the AAB file, upload the AAB file. So go to the test and release option, go to production and choose countries in how many country you, are, you want to uh, upload it we are choosing all 194 countries sorry 177 countries and in the release create a new release after that upload the AAB file so click on upload and we have chosen the AAB file so you can see it has been uploaded after that click next save and go to overview and this kind of option will appear and send 10 changes for review click here and it's uploaded changes are in review so we have properly uploaded all the document all the things which are necessary for publishing an app it will be live uh, after the verification is completed okay so let's refresh this page in draft you can see it is in review it takes some time it takes two to seven days for verifying the, for the first time if you have applied for closed testing or open testing in that case you need uh, at least 14 testers to add and it takes almost 15 to 20 days to live um, to, to become live in play store otherwise if you have already a organization account or the old personal account then the it will be published then it will be published within one to seven days seven working days so these are the steps uh, by which you can publish the app. I have given the documentation also in the description. You can follow that and uh, publish your app in the Play Store. In the next video, we are going to tell you how you can publish your app in the Indus Play Store and Indus App Store and in the Apple, Apple App Store. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.